What's up, y'all? MC here. Hey, guys, I'm going to do a real quick one with you tonight because this isn't a new knife. This is just a variant of a knife that's been out for a minute. This is the Honey Badger, and I got the Warren Cleaver N14C28N. Uh, I do really like the box, though, and they give you a tool to adjust the pivot and all the hardware on it, and that's pretty cool. Um, now, these have been out for a bit in 8CR and D2. I don't really buy 8CR hardly at all anymore. A little bit, but not much. I have to love the knife, and it has to be a great deal. I will buy D2 steel, but I kind of felt like these were priced a bit out of the range of what they were for me in D2 and FRN. So when they did come out in 14C28N, I had to try one because I do think they're good-looking knives. Now let me show you this. This is right out of the box. I haven't tightened anything, loosened anything, oiled anything. That is fantastic action. Like I don't know who OEMs these, but that is fantastic. Now I guess this is the Warren Cleaver. It's supposed to be a combination of the Warren Cliff and the Cleaver. It's a really lightweight knife too, guys. It's under three ounces. I don't remember the exact weight. I'll put it on, I'll flash it on the screen when I finally post the video though. Uh, it's, have, it's got a flipper tab which works. You can reverse flick it and that's awesome. I don't remember if I can get my thumb in there or not. Yeah, I can get my thumb in there. All three deployments work really well. Like I said, I love 14C28N. Access to the liner lock is really well done on a budget knife. Fantastic. Pocket clip isn't the best, but that's not real sharp like some of them I've had, and it is flush to the frame, so that's a that's a really nice thing. Came centered really well. I can't believe how lightweight it is, and the action, man. Like I can't believe how good the action is for a budget knife that I haven't done anything to. I haven't adjusted it at all. One negative is these are FRN handles, so. If you hate FRN, which I have a few in FRN, I don't hate them. I don't love them. These aren't bad. The ergos are good enough. I do feel that pattern a little bit, but it doesn't create a hot spot or anything. Um, could have done without that pattern, honestly, but I get it. It's part of their thing. No problem. Um, would love to see this in my Carta or G10, some really nice G10, but can't have everything but uh, I think this one's sixty five dollars and I, I understand for FRN that's kinda high 14c it's right in the price range but you know who sold me crap FRM for a lot more money honey earmuffs Spiderco sold me this hunk of crap FRN for $180 case my wife heard that but like, this thing I mean this is a Mannix 2 and it's a boutique steel but this thing is junk this is the lightweight by the way and if Spyderco can get by with selling that FRN which is also pretty garbage FRN very gritty almost I'm not going to hate on Honey Badger for selling this FRN um, they do have a few different styles in this blade shape. They have a smaller leaf blade. I think they have a drop point and maybe a tanto. And they're all oh um, maybe they don't have a tanto. Maybe they have the uh, the big one with the um. They have a big one with like a cap lifter on it for some reason, and it's a little more. It might be seventy five. So anyway, I'll put a link where I got mine. I think it's a fantastic knife. Uh, the FRN doesn't bother me because it doesn't feel cheap in the hand. And it's so lightweight, it disappears in the pocket. Really nice drop shot action. I'm impressed. This is the Honey Badger Warren Cleaver in 14C28N. I do look forward to trying some of their other stuff. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm MC. Let me know how you feel about this one in the comments. Or if you have the D2 or the uh, 8CR version. Let me know how that is, or if you think this thing's a giant hunk of junk. Feel free to agree with me. Thanks for watching, y'all.